Good morning, friends. This is Margaret with Alabama Prepper. Thank you for watching my channel. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. Uh, I went to two different Dollar Trees this week. Ours in Brayton is a very small Dollar Tree. Uh, we went out of town. We, uh, I went into one of the Dollar Trees uh, when we went out of town this week to go to... Uh, for my dentist appointments, I went. They have a Dollar Tree there, which is in Spanish Fort. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and tell you it's in Spanish Fort. Their Dollar Tree was just absolutely wonderful. It was. <clears throat> they have one in Atmore, Alabama, but I believe the one in Spanish Fort beat the one in Alabama. I was really surprised and. I'll, I'm going to show you what I've picked up between the two Dollar Trees, our Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree in Spanish Fork. So I was looking for containers, something to uh, store food in, and uh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted them to be where I could put them in the freezer, or put them in the microwave, or put them in the fridge, or whatever. So, our Dollar Tree in Brayton, this this was not it. I picked up these, uh, they have two compartments to them, they have the lids, uh, these are good for, you can put them in the freezer, you can put them in the refrigerator, you know, I mean, they're, they're supposed to care, uh, be able to put it anywhere, I picked up three of those, I picked up two of these, these are, uh, I don't make you drunk, Picked up two of these. These are pretty big. Um, they're easy seal containers. But anyhow, I picked up two of those because I needed I needed some more I needed some bigger plastic containers. So I got those. They had these. These are good for uh, putting spaghetti in, uh, like a short term type stuff. They're tall. Uh, I picked up two of those. They have the lids that go with them. These were the neatest, the neatest that I, I picked up. I really like these. I picked up three of these, and I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, uh, they have, they have the lids. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one handed or not. Let me see. But anyhow. They lock together, and I love these. You just, uh, you put them down, you put them, they have to be almost together, and then they lock. I really liked those. Now, I got three of those. Those were real good. I picked up two of the round, uh, those were pretty big. All I have are small, so I needed some bigger ones, so I picked those up. They also had these, these smaller ones here. Um, <clears throat> they don't even have a tag on them. It don't look like... Oh, they had, they had the tag tore off of them. Uh, but anyhow, I picked up two of those. I picked up... A pack of these, I'm not sure, for $1.25. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But, anyway, I just went ahead and got a pack of those. Uh, I picked up, <coughs> excuse me, another tea pitcher. I needed that. And they had these little old, um, sit, sit back and relax cups. They're microwavable safe. Um, put coffee or put tin, whatever. Those were real neat. I got those. Um, at the other, no, I picked up, I got one of these. I got one of those. Uh, I picked it up too. These were my plastic containers that I got. I needed some more plastic containers to put food in or store in the refrigerator. Um, I'm about, I was, I had some small ones, but I was about out of big ones. They just go away somehow or another, but anyhow. The second Dollar Tree that I went to in Spanish Fort had the, um, coconut, 
cocoa liners. Um, I always put about five flower hanging flowers on my porch. I went ahead and got those while I was there because dollar twenty five you you can't beat them. I don't know exactly where. I I think you can put them in the plastic um baskets, but anyhow, if I have to go to where. Uh, if I have to go to the wire, at least I've got my cocoa uh, liners to go in there. So, dollar twenty-five. I bought five of those. Oh, uh, I picked up everything fall over. I picked up a pa uh, a dish towel, and I also picked up a drying dishcloth. I needed this really bad, so I picked up one of those. I have not seen those in our Dollar Tree in Brayton. Uh, they may be there, but I, I haven't seen them. Uh, and I picked up a couple of pair of socks. If they're at our Dollar Tree, I haven't seen those either. Now, I'm not one on packaged foods, but um, the Dollar Tree in... Spanish Fort had tons and tons of these things. And I love the cheddar broccoli. So I picked up a, one of those. The Spanish rice. I picked that one up. This is another cheddar broccoli because I love broccoli and cheddar. And I picked up the Al Alfredo. Alfredo, however you pronounce that. I like those. Dollar twenty-five. You know, you just can't beat it. Oh, and I picked up some Italian breadcrumbs to go in my meatloaf and, um, you know, different things that you need breadcrumbs in. I picked up a thermometer. We really needed a thermometer to go outside. I thought that was real cute. I got it. And this is something else that I picked up. Um, I'm going to try to put these on my wall. Uh, we repainted my cabinets and uh, repainted the walls in the kitchen this year. As you can notice, um, I have not. I still like some doors getting up. We started redoing my kitchen about four or five years ago. My husband got real sick. He done them. He made the cabinet doors, but he never finished for the doors. So, Anyhow, I went ahead and we put a new floor down this year, last year, and I've also uh, painted my whole kitchen, but I'm going to put these, try to put these up uh, in my kitchen. They were only a dollar twenty-five each. They're self-adhesive. I'll let you know how it works. Uh, I want to change. I'm thinking about stripping all my cabinet doors and going to a all-white kitchen. Um, I'm just thinking about it, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to try to get my doors finished this year. Um, I don't know if he'll be able to build the doors, but anyhow, I'm hoping to finish my kitchen up in 2023. But anyhow, this is just a few things that I picked up at our Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree in Spanish Fort. Uh, things are cheap in there. Uh, you know, I was satisfied with it. I'm not sure exactly how much I spent all together on all of it. I think when I went in our Dollar Tree in Bruton the other day, I spent about $32. And then um, I went in the Dollar Tree at Spanish Fort. But there was a couple things like I bought some Christmas stuff that they had on sale. Not much, but just a few, but I didn't put it out here. But I just wanted to share what my two haul with two Dollar Trees was this year. This week, I'm sorry. Uh, if you enjoyed our video, please hit the like button. Hit the notification bell so you know every time we put out a video. It helps our channel to grow. And thank you for all our subscribers. And you have a blessed day.